Okay, now that we have this reverse foot um, manual kind of version working, let's create a, a curve control that's easily easy to select by the animators and that has a couple of things automated. So uh, we're just going to create that this right now and go first thing first. We'll go create nerves primitives and we'll just make a circle. So we're just going to create a circle which will be our control, and we can see it there. Now the very next step is we want to group this, so you can just hit Control G, but I'll do it through the menu just to make sure. So we go uh, create empty group, uh, actually edit group. I always use for the hotkeys. So let's just see here. Yep, group. That's in under edit group, and we can group that nerve circle, and we can even at this stage uh, rename some stuff. So this nerve circle will be called our foot. Uh, control CTRL uh, left, Let's foot control left, and we'll call the group foot control group GRP foot control group left. Now, the reason why that we've grouped this thing is we will actually want uh, the group to stay zeroed when we move it into position. So you can see that the actual curve is staying zeroed out when we move the group. So we want to move the group into place and not the curve and we can do that just by holding down the V key or my keyboard short, shortcuts the question mark and you can snap that in to uh, the right spot there. So there we go, nice and nice and easy we can snap that in. <coughs> now that we've snapped that, uh, that, that control into shape everything should work pretty well. Um, so let's start hooking this up. Next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to create this control and just make it a little bit bigger and modify it a little bit. So by going into uh, vertices mode, we can then come in and select all this stuff and we can just sort of move it out here. Now, a good little tip in Maya is to control click on that up axis. Uh, that will just disable the up and down axis so we can middle click drag and we know that that will always stay flat. It's a good tip in Maya. So let's just do that now and just deselect deselect some of these and we can kind of move this control into shape a little bit. Get it looking nice and pretty. Something like that. So, so okay, roughly our curve control is sort of in place, give it a couple more tweaks. I can bring that back. Okay, so we have our curve control and it's in place, ready to go. Freeze the transforms out just so that it's uh, got a zero scale. Now, what we want to do is add a couple of attributes here that are going to be our attributes that drive this rig. So we only need two, and let's go in here. And this is how we create attributes we go modify, add attribute. And we just need to create two attributes. Now defaults is fine, they're just simply floats, which is a number with decimal places and no minimum and maximum. So we can put in here uh, all ROT for rotation. <coughs> so let's hit add. And the next one we'll do toe ROT for rotation again. Hit add. And that's done, so we can close that down. And we can see that uh, we've got a ball in rotation. I'm also going to freeze, sorry, delete the history on this just to make sure that our control is as clean as possible. Uh, and now we have these two attributes which we'll be using to control the foot. So in the next lesson, we'll, we're going to hook this all up and hook it into the, the foot, con foot control rig and make it all work when we move this guy around. The foot and everything will move with it.